somebody else was starting. <laughs> and I just, you know, came out, got on the sideline. But I think my, the name was wrong in the book, so that's what it was. Yeah. What do you think of uh, Duke got beat last night by Stephen F. Austin? If you watch that, uh, or, you know, wherever. A lot of the number ones are getting beat. Michigan it's, State, you guys, Duke. What, what does that say, do you think? It shows that anybody can get beat. Uh, you just got to come out and do it all every night. So. To take some of the sting off, what happened to you guys that you're not alone? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm we, we just, you know, we look at that loss and we look at it as an opportunity uh, and learn from it. And, uh, it's what, not like to happen again. What are you going to learn from it? Uh, that we got to come out and play, no matter who it is. You know, don't lower your, don't lower, lower your, uh, your level of play down to the competition. Cleo, what's the go-to Thanksgiving Day dish for you? Go-to? Um, well, I haven't been home in the last two Thanksgivings of my life, so uh, probably like dressing, macaroni, a little turkey, uh, some ham, and um, some potato salad. Pumpkin pie? Nah, I don't fucking pie. Like sweet potato pie. No pumpkin. <laughs> Coach, Cal, Coach Cal talks about giving back this time of year. What, what are you thankful for? Thankful for? I'm um, thankful for family. Uh, I'm thankful to be here in this situation, given the opportunity. Um, I'm thankful for happiness, uh, mental health. Uh, I'm just thankful for the people around me, the support system I have. And like I said, I'm just thankful to be here today. How much four did you play or in, in the paint did you play in high school? Any? Um, well, usually like, in high school, uh, it was small defenders guarding me. So I would just take them to the mid post or you know, I'd be setting screens for my point guard. Uh, it made the game slightly a little bit easier for me. Cause I, I can, I'm already inside. I don't have to work my way inside. But uh, I played a lot of four in high school. So then, you you feel that feels pretty natural then to you now? Oh yeah, I, I would say. Thank you. Well, I know you hate it for Nick, but do you feel like it's more opportunity for you, more playing time for you? I hate it for Nick. Yeah, I know you hate it for Nick, but do you feel like it's more opportunity for you? Nick. Or Nate. I mean, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> I got Nick Richards on my mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hate it for Nate, yeah, uh, but like did you said, feel like more opportunity for you? It's or? an unfortunate situation for Nate. Um, like I said, he's one of our toughest teammates, and uh, he brings the energy every night. Um, it's just sad something like that happens. Uh, like I said, it's, it's an opportunity for other players to come in and step up. So, What does he do that you're going to miss on the court? Say that one time. What does he do that you're going to miss on the floor when, when Nate's not out there? Uh, it's the talking. Uh, he was our biggest communicator. He was, you know, he, he always heard Nate. He was always trying to get us to communicate. Uh, he was pretty much our anchor on defense and, and on offense, letting us know where to be if we needed help on the court. So we're definitely going to miss that. And uh, like I said, it's, for, it's time for other guys to step up and take that role. Are you a talker? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big time communicator. Is that something you have to do more of? Uh, definitely. Now that you guys have got more practice time, is there any particular area that you're trying to work on in your game? Um. Uh, it's my shooting. Um, seeing things before it happens, that's about it. Thanks. That's cool, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah.